That's the problem, 36. Problem, same as this. Y double prime, minus 3y prime, minus 4y, equals 2 times the sine of t. Now, notice that this section of the problem is the same as in the previous one, and also in the one following. And in the next one following. That is something that will be very useful on problem 38 in order to help understand the linear combinations of solutions are solutions. Again. So we have to get y of t here. We're going to solve that by homogeneous and y particular. My homogeneous is just setting the first part of this equation equal to zero, right here. And that's why homogeneous. My particular is getting the second part of the equation, the f of t, making a guess based on that, and then plugging successive derivatives of that back into this equation here in order to solve for the constants multiplying the terms in this guess solution in order to finalize their weights, I suppose. So, why homogeneous is written as such. Now, we assume a solution, again, that is of the ilk e to the rt. So, we plug this in to this equation, and we eventually get r squared minus 3r minus 4 equals 0. If you want to find out why that is so, check the previous problem in this video. Alright, so this is, as in the previous problem, gets solutions. Why homogeneous of t equal to a e to the 4t plus b e to the minus t. Now, time to get to y particular. Y particular, in this case, is going to be a combination of sines and cosines. cosine t plus sin d sine of t. We assume a solution like this because sine is coupled with cosine, and because of that, we have to write if one of them is present in the Fourier function f of t, we have to guess that both of them are in the particular solution. Not particular prime of this equals minus c times the sine of t plus d times the cosine of t. Or particular double prime of this equals minus c times the cosine of t minus d times the sine of t. Simply a negation of y particular. Above. Now plugging this into the expression for our ODE part 1. Minus c times the cosine of t minus d times the sine of t minus 3 times the negative c times the sine of t plus d times the cosine of t minus 4 times c times the cosine of t plus d times the sine of t, which equals 2 times the sine of t. This is a real mouthful. It may look really confusing and horrendous at first, but it's really not so bad. After you group all the terms together, the cosines and sines, 
and then set the constants on each side equal to each other, you can then solve for C and D, which then allows you to rewrite your y particular solution of T. And then that allows you to write the whole entire solution of Y of T. And then if you have initial conditions, solve for A and B in the problem. Alright. So after doing some algebra and gathering up all the sines and cosines, you get minus 5C minus 3D times the cosine of T plus 3C minus 5D times the sine of T, which equals 0 times the cosine of T plus 2 times the sine of T. Now, what you need to set equal in this case are the constants weighting each of the terms. 5c minus 3d and 0, 3c minus 5d and 2. You can solve for c and d if you do that. You have two equations and two unknowns. Minus 5c minus 3d equals 0, minus 5d plus 3c equals 2. Two equations, two unknowns. By doing some more algebra, dot 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 algebra, you get c equal to minus three seventeenths, d equal to five seventeenths. With that, you can rewrite our solution for y of t. Y of t equals a e to the 4t plus b e to the minus t minus 3 over 17 times the cosine of t plus 5 over 17 times the sine of t. This is our total solution.